Welcome, welcome one and all to another Overrated Review. It feels good to be back. I am Bradley Overrated, and today we are tackling the game Rapala Pro Series for the Nintendo Switch. I am here to discuss to you guys whether or not this game is good. Let's get right into it. And the first thing I want to talk about is that guy right there on the boat. You see that guy? That's my character. I created him, and he is a monstrosity. The character creator in this game, though, makes everybody a monstrosity. It is a terrible, terrible thing. And the death of big bad thing about this game are the graphics and those you will see here in a little bit but the graphics are nothing to write home about but if you can get past those two things there are some very good things about this game but like I said you have to be willing to get past the character because I look at this dude seriously <laughs> this is the best I can make them they are ugly in this game it doesn't matter how hard you try when it comes to customizations for your character you will be disappointed. That's just how it is. Having said that, what this game does so well is the core gameplay. That's right, guys. Rapala Pro Fishing on the Nintendo Switch is fun. It is a fun and enjoyable fishing experience. It's what legendary fishing should have been. So let's talk about some of the gameplay here. After all, this is a review. And as you can see, graphically, like I said, it's not the best thing. The water looks okay. It does. It looks good. But the rest of it, the boat and the trees in the background, even on occasion, you'll get some rendering problems. Your character looks terrible. Other characters, there are people you'll run into. You can literally run into them like that with your boat. It's really fun. You can't knock them over. Don't get your hopes up, but it's still fun. They're ugly, too. Like I said, graphically, this game is unappealing. But the gameplay... The core gameplay of this game is really fun because there are a variety of lakes that you can drive around on to any location in that lake and the objective is to catch the fish. And you know, that's not surprising. It is a fishing game after all, right? But what I love about it is how it all works together. For example, you go out onto the lake, which you can go anywhere on the lake, which is a bonus by the way because there are in fact fishing games like Legendary Fishing where you can't do that. and you have objectives. You saw them in the top left of the screen just barely. And if you complete these objectives, you get cash. And you can use the cash to get better lures or to get better fishing rods or better lines because you will not be able to catch some of these fish until you do so. And if you try to do so, you will ruin your line and you will lose your lure. This game has an excellent penalty system for that and then you have to go back and buy those things again. But then you can use the cash to enter tournaments and if you can do well in the tournaments, you can win even more money, which you can then use in turn to get the harder fish. It's an excellent progression system in this game, and it's what makes it so fun and replayable. I absolutely love that about this game. And now, as you can see on the screen, I know it doesn't look like much when it comes to catching these fish, but you gotta understand, I played through this entire game. I've spent a good 10-15 hours with my wife playing this game to get all of the stuff and achievements and everything this game has to offer by the way there are achievements in this game as well and they're really fun to go for so if you're an achievement hunter you're going to enjoy that but the catching mechanic is really really fun and it, the reason why it looks so easy on my screen is because a i'm at the beginning lake b i'm catching the basic fish and c i already have the best lures and rod and boat i'm decked out this isn't going to be challenging for me at this lake because I've already completed everything in the game. But if you start out and you're new to this, these fish will be a lot more challenging, I promise you that. And there's an excellent battle system almost when you have to try to get the fish into the box. It's not as easy as I make it look because like I said, I have every advantage to me now that I can make it easy if I want it to be. But when you start out, it will be challenging and that's what I like about it. Catching certain types of fish and there are legendary fish. And those legendary fish, whoo baby, you will be challenged or if you run into a monster fish, they are brutal sometimes. I have lost so many of my lore and lines trying to catch those darn stinking monster fish, man. Which is so awesome about this game that they bring these challenges to the table. So there are a couple of things I want to discuss before I continue with this. And the first thing is, what are some other drawbacks? And I think some of the other drawbacks are the fact that the tournament mode is always the same type of mode. There are about six or seven lakes in this game, and each one will tell you that there's a specific fish you have to catch for, so you can have time to prepare, which is excellent, but I do wish they had a little bit more variety. 
because they're always the same thing. Catch a large bass and you catch your three best large bass and the winner who has the most weight of your three, your top three bass that you caught, that's your best score and you compare it to the other people that are competing on the tournament which are AIs obviously and that's fine it really is a lot of fun I really enjoy it but I would have liked to have tournaments for example say catch the most rainbow trout the person you could just catch not about weight but just strictly numbers would be the winner or the first person to catch all the varieties of fish in that lake is the winner. You know what I'm saying? It would have been nice if they had a little bit more variety in the tournament mode itself, but on the flip side, if you're looking for variety, there are daily challenges that you can play against online players. This game has an online mode. That's right. And there are actually people who compete online and they have a variety of challenges, especially like the ones I just mentioned, and you can get a lot of bonus cash once again, improving the whole progression system and improving your ability as a fisherman. And that's awesome. I am so glad they added that online capability. It is fantastic. So, and then the last thing I want to talk about that, that I wish they would have included was a split screen multiplayer. This game, unfortunately, guys, this might be a killer for some of you, is only single player. You cannot play it with a buddy unless you take turns like I did with my wife so do keep that in mind if that's a killer for you I understand I love it when fishing games have multiplayer and unfortunately Rapala Pro Fishing does not so let's round this entire game up for you now because there's a lot to go over real quick and then one last thing though I do want to mention for the positives in this game is the the fact that the creators of this game made the lakes as accurate as possible to the real locations. For example, I've actually been to Lake Pal, which is one of the lakes you can fish in in this game, and they did a really nice job of making Lake Pal look like Lake Pal. It might be ugly, mind you, but it's at least it at least feels accurate, so I have to give them some props for that. Now, like I said, there are some cons. If you're looking for a multiplayer fishing experience, this is not the game for you. It doesn't have that, and I do feel like it should have, because I feel like that would have been a lot more fun for a lot of the people who play this game. I also have to mention that it is, like I said, ugly. Your character customization's ugly. This game itself is pretty ugly. They did nice details on the water and they did nice details on the fish though. So I guess that's really all that matters because your boat and the trees and the environments, all of that stuff, ugly. House is ugly. It's an ugly but really fun mess because the core gameplay is absolutely fantastic and I highly recommend you try this game if you're a person that likes fishing games because Rapala Pro Series nailed it on its gameplay and that to me is the most important thing about a video game. Which is why when I look at all the positives and all the negatives I had about the game and I weigh them together I can say, honestly say that this is a good game which is why I give Rapala Pro Fishing a B minus and I give it the B minus because it really does earn it because while it does have its problems and its faults the gameplay is just fun and honestly that's all I'm looking for in a fishing game I just want a good fishing experience I can forgive it for the bad graphics and not having a multiplayer as long as I can actually have a good time fishing out on the lake and you know what that's exactly what this game gives me and not to mention that it's only 30 bucks, so it's not going to break the bank. So if you're looking for a more inexpensive game to try out and just take a risk on, I do recommend this game because, like I said, it's only 30 bucks, and I'm certain it'll come on sale for around 20 And then when it comes on sale for that, it's an easy no-brainer must-buy. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I am Bradley Overrated, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like this video and if you didn't like it well then leave a dislike i love dislikes i don't get them very often but i do like them and subscribe to my channel especially if you're a hater i love haters bring them on and i'll see you guys on the next video that i do i am out like a trout hey that works really well for this one doesn't it yes it does later guys